Hey guys, Mrs. Fox here with your week two. We're supposed to be in school but aren't in school yet. This time still optional quarantine announcement video. Let's go with that. Okay, so um, hi. I miss you guys. I have cried. Um, I have been upset um, because, man, we found out, as you guys know, we're not coming back this year. So fourth quarter is going to be all digital distance learning. Um, and I love my job and I love you guys. So I'm bummed about that. I, I know some of you guys probably are too. And maybe some of you are excited. I don't know. But we will get through this together. Email me anytime with any questions you guys have. Um, you know, whatever you need. If I can help you, I am here to help. So know that. I've got some announcements for you guys this week. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. First of all, random fact for you guys, okay? Did you know from the time we discovered Pluto as it was making it away as, around its orbit, because its orbit's way bigger than ours because it's further away from the sun, it didn't even make it to its first birthday before we said, sorry, Pluto, just kidding, you're not a planet. Poor Pluto. I feel bad for Pluto. All right, quote of the week, guys, by Dr. Seuss. I love Dr. Seuss. I read my kids Dr. Seuss. My husband reads me Dr. Seuss when I can't sleep. Um, it says, sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. I know some of you guys are going stir crazy right now. I know some of you guys have lives and worlds and families who have been turned upside down. Um, I know some of you guys are in blessed situations where it's all kind of going pretty well, but you know, maybe you're jonesing for school or something different to do. Um, and you're wondering what the heck is the point of all of this? And just know that every circumstance, every situation, every time period in your life, it does have value. There are hills and valleys in life, guys, and sometimes everything's roses and it's awesome blossom, and sometimes things are difficult, things are challenging, like for a lot of people right now, but know that this time period still has value, and it will pass. Pretty soon we'll be looking back and everybody will be back in, you know, shopping malls and schools and work and everything will be back to normal, but um, in this moment, find the value in this time before it becomes a memory. What can you get out of this? Think about all of the extra family time you guys are getting. Take advantage of that. Get to know people in your family in new ways. Try new things together, right? Um, reflect on yourself. You know, at your guys' age, the way you act in front of your family and how you would act if you were at school right now are often two different things. Remember, if you're being true to yourself, you should be pretty much the same person no matter who you're with. So maybe spend some time on self-reflection about who you want to be, right? And um, the kind of company you want to keep and who you want to project as a person and what your goals are and exciting things you want to do once you get to go back out into the world and, um, you know live life. Um, so just know that this time has value, guys. Find it. Find what your silver lining in, is in this time and, you know, do something with it. Okay. Um, we've talked about staying healthy. I just hope that you guys are all healthy and well. My family is doing well. We've managed to not get sick. We've been staying home other than an occasional grocery run. Um, and so far, so good. We're not, um, you know, killing each other quite yet. So hopefully it keeps going positively. I hope your uh, situation and your family are doing well as well. Remember social distancing, washing your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. Um, get fresh air, you guys, every day. Oh, man, so good for your health, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. You need fresh air. And if you have ignored the advice of getting on a schedule, guess what? Next week, you're going to have a schedule. School's back in session with your teachers and classes and things. Not physically. You're not going to more. Don't do that, okay? but there will be distance learning taking place on a schedule. So start getting on track now if you are totally flipped around. And plus that helps with health, mental and emotional health in the long run. Do it, okay? Some things that are coming up you wanna know, this is a super important slide, pay attention, okay? First of all, this week is the last week of optional, not graded work that's being provided by the district. You can go onto the district website to access that work. It's separated by subject and grade, if that's something you'd like to do to keep that muscle in between your ears working and healthy, okay? And you want something to do, because knowledge is power, you can always be learning. All right. Um, another option you guys have for this week, educationally speaking, for social studies, if you're a seventh grader, seventh grade, go into the unit six area of my 
class website and review the Renaissance PowerPoint so you're ready to go. Okay, for eighth grade, your guys' directions are slightly different. Um, for seventh and eighth, you guys moving forward, we're gonna have to pick and choose. We don't have as many hours as we normally would to teach you guys. And so we're gonna have to pick and choose the highlights of what's important or most important. I should say, moving forward to help you with next year and beyond. And so one thing for eighth grade guys, eighth graders that we have to skip is if you had come back, the next PowerPoint we would have done is 5.3. Well, that's out the window. I've got to skip that one, which I hate doing because history is a story and you want all the pieces. Um, this is optional, but if you have the chance, go into your class website, eighth graders, go into unit five and check out 5.3. Flip through the slides, it's not a flipped classroom. You don't have to take notes, you don't have to write a summary, but flip through the slides, familiarize yourself with the information, watch some of the video clips I provide you guys so you kind of have more of a complete story. Now, this is optional. If you don't do that, no, we're not gonna hit it together, but is 5.4 gonna be a mystery to you and you're gonna be completely lost if you decide to not do that this week? No, you'll be able to figure things out, it'll be okay, but if you have the time, you're looking for something to do and you wanna expand that knowledge, then take a look at 5.3 this week, eighth graders, okay? Everybody, seventh and eighth, know that next week, Monday the 13th, is when distance learning starts. You will not be going back physically to campus to more middle school this year. Everything's going to be distance learning. What does that look like? We're still figuring it out this week, guys. I don't have a ton I can tell you for sure. They're balancing things like maybe Zoom, maybe Google Meets, you know, other platforms. Some things will be live with your teachers. You'll have access to them each week. Some things will be pre-recorded or on your own through websites and stuff you'll be tackling each week. Um, there is a schedule coming. They're building it still. I don't totally know what it is, okay? But no next week, fourth quarter work and moving forward is going to start, okay? Third quarter. Third quarter ended last Friday. You will not get a physical report card sent home to you. You will not get an email with your report card. You can, however, parents and students, log in to Aries as a parent or a student, and don't go to Gradebook. That is different. Don't go to Gradebook. Go to Grades, and under Grades, you can see your third quarter report card, comments, work habits, citizenship, so you know what you got. That's important moving forward because look at the last bullet point on this slide starting on Monday the 13th any work that we are doing for fourth quarter guys is meant to enhance um, your scores from third quarter so you can't dip below what you earned during third quarter. You can only improve or maintain, okay? There will be some form of attendance taking place each week. We're not totally sure how that's going to look yet. We'll figure it out um, in meetings this week, okay? Um, but you can't dip below your third quarter grade. You can only enhance or approve upon that. Um, this will be you know, lessons and lectures and activities provided by your teachers. We are hoping that you will participate. You guys need this knowledge to help you not only with endurance of, you know, schedules and staying with academics for next year, but the lessons and things you guys will be learning are things that will help you in your next year um, academically or beyond. And, you know, you want to keep that muscle worked out. Uh, plus, it can help you improve upon your third quarter grade. So keep those things in mind moving forward starting next week. You're going to have extra time during quarantine, though, because school is not going to be as demanding as it would be normally. We recognize that you guys need flexibility. We recognize a lot of people are in unique, unusual situations. We recognize that some people's worlds have been turned upside down. Um, every family situation is different. And so there is going to be, again, we're hitting the most important things we guys that we can get out to you guys, but it just isn't physically possible for us to hit as much as we normally would. So you're going to have some free time because school isn't going to be as structured. And you have free time because there's no soccer or band or piano lessons or, you know, church midweek Bible youth group or whatever, right? So um, because of that, I said this to you guys last week. Again, I would encourage you, write letters, um, bake a set of Rice Krispie treats and run them over to a neighbor and ring the doorbell and back up 10 feet and say, hi, I'm thinking of you. You know, call your grandma and grandpa and interview them about their life. Uh, learn how to do something you don't know how to do. Change a tire, you know, cook something, sew something. 
Um, keep a living history journal because you are going through something that has never happened in all of history right now. We've had pandemics. We've had, you know, bad disease, worse than COVID-19 um, hit the world before, but not with these sets of governments and circumstances and technology we have access to. You'll find value in keeping your thoughts and how you're feeling and, you know, what you're doing every day in a journal or a video of some sort scrapbook whatever in five years 10 years 20 years down the road you guys so that'd be something maybe cool to do with you and your family okay um i want to encourage you updates will be happening more frequently this week as we're learning things and what next week will look like so be looking at your guys' student emails remember you have student emails check them you've probably been emailed by people already if not you will be getting emailed by people look in your google classrooms google classrooms will often have updates on my class websites i might be posting some websites or not posting updates. Um, when? I don't know. It's as things are unrolling, being unveiled to us, but be checking those things frequently, okay? Your email, your Google Classrooms, even for my class, Google Classroom, and the website for my class, how we have class websites, okay? Remember that you have access to free lunch. If you are under 18, even if you have brothers or sisters or cousins or whoever who are not attending Redlands Unified School District right now, but they're living with you, anyone under 18 can go to one of the locations listed. More is not one of them. Don't go to more. But the school is listed in Redlands Unified from 11 to 1, Monday through Friday, to get free lunch. So make sure you're taking advantage of that if, some, if that is something you need or want to take advantage of. Um, I'm going to be offering an opportunity for me to test out trying to get you guys online and seeing what that looks like and just an opportunity to review for fun. It's not mandatory. It's not required. But if you'd like to join me, let's try Kahoot later this week. Um, I'm shooting for doing a seventh grade of review Kahoot at 10 a.m. on Thursday and for eighth grade at 11.30 a.m. eighth graders. Um, these times might change because if it's anything like last week, my schedule kind of blows up as the week goes on with more meetings and I'm on a lot of committees and things as we figure the stuff out. I promise, promise, promise you we will play Kahoot at some point on Thursday for sure. And I'm really hoping I can keep 10 a.m. for 7th and 11.30 for 8th. But if it's gonna change, I will send out an email and post that on Google Classroom and my website. Um, how will you know how to get to the Kahoot? On Google uh, Classroom, on Google Classroom, I will post the link on Google Classroom 10, 15 minutes before we're going to start to play um, so that you can get situated and maybe come into the chat room and say hi and stuff to me. Um, so we'll probably do that on Google Meets, guys, because last I heard, the district was leaning towards Google Meets as the platform for us to use for virtual communication. But I've also heard we might be changing to Zoom, so I'm not totally sure. Um, when I know, I'll let you know. But we'll get on a live chat together and say hi to each other and try out a game of Kahoot and see how it goes. And we can learn together how all of this stuff's going to work, okay? Um, can't make it. Again, no worries. This is optional. It's just something to do for fun. Okay, but hopefully I will see you there. I want you guys to know I miss you all. I've thought about all of you. Work's been insane, especially trying to help my own kindergartner with virtual learning and be a parent and be a teacher. Um, it's been super interesting. So I'm sure your guys' lives have been kind of interesting too with whatever your family has going on. But we'll make it. We'll make it through together. Stay positive. If you need anything and you, you know, have a question or whatever, email me please I'm here for you guys I miss you all stay safe stay healthy look for updates online in Google classroom in my classroom websites in your email I'll be looking 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 for that and hopefully I'll see some of you guys on Thursday so we can review together okay don't forget the assignments I gave you too. eighth graders look at that five three if you have a chance seventh graders look at Renaissance if you guys have a chance okay um, have a great day and hopefully I'll get to see you virtually soon, all right? Mwah! See you guys later, bye.